no chance for Pelche and scores. He's got two, and that's ten. Early, and I think they've had a pretty good start. Byfield wins the draw. Pelche tapped it back, gets it back, and shoots from that high line. That's a really good set play from Canada. And Pelche is on the receiving end of the pass from Byron for a shot on goal. Slides that down. I see Ray off as Quinn goes after it. Still to come tonight, the United States and Austria. The U.S. trying to get back on track. Back here. Tough opener against Russia. Flip back down in the German zone. Blitzel goes back as Quinn steps into him. Quinn. Puts it back around the byfield. Byron. Long shot to the leg in front. Rebound scores. Pelche. And that's 14. Strong work by Pelche in Byfield to keep the puck alive. And Pelche will take the shot that's deflected. In front of the net as Glutzel tries to block it, he ends up handing it right to Pelche, who's got most of the net to beat the goaltender, Gare, and it's 14-1. to oh. Jacob Pelche was the first-round pick of Calgary in 2019. Connor Zeri, the first-round pick in 2020. When they were in quarantine, every night they would get a phone call from general manager Brad Treliving, and they had Flames trivia. Oh. And so Treliving would have a question, the two of them would answer it, they kept the points. Pelche won by one. Really? Uh, Connor Zeri answered Jerome McGinley for every question. He's from Kamloops, so he figured Iggy was the answer all the time. Not, not a bad idea. No, he was probably right a lot. But Pelche was the winner by one point. Holly from the sharp angle, throws it back in, and Pelche with a chance, that was stuck. Gotten in on the scoring. It's Paterka with a hard shot. Duran makes the stop on the power play drive from J.J. Paterka. And now picked up by Kananika. And his last game against Slovakia. Here's Jack Quinn with it. Throws it back in the slot. That's knocked down by Attilio Biasca. And played back ahead, but knocked down right away by Pelche. Jacob Pelche with Quinn jumping in. Lines through, drops it back. Byram works back in the corner, throws that in behind the Swiss net. Jumping up is Drysdale. Jamie Drysdale pivots back. Looks back at the point. Byfield to Byram. And pass for Quinn misfired. And pivoting back is Dario Allenspot. Back across to Nathan Bordeaux. He bounces that down in the Canadian zone. Lionel Marchand goes in to pick it up. Pelche up into Drysdale. He finds Zary. It is a fantastic tournament, and man, do you miss the fans. Lead pass to Pelche winding in. He missed that, that fun to the tournament. Quinn in, shoots a pass save by Patton. Well, Canada did an excellent job controlling the play. And the draw here. Myra long shot. That was blocked. Good block by Pelche. Thursday, New Year's Eve against the Finns. Swiss are back in action tomorrow against Germany. Their final game of the preliminary round. Germans with an overtime win. Kolche takes down Meyer. And Kolche looks ahead to Holloway. In comes Holloway. Big hit there with Guggenheim. But who's on the side of the goal? They dig it free. Here's Kolche with it. Pelche takes a hard puck. Guggenheim gathers up the rolling puck. Pelche steps into him. Snyder back to Harlan. Lead pass to Byfield. In comes Canada. Byfield. Snaps that pass to Zary. Moves it and shoots. He fired a wide rebound. Pelche scores! Jacob Pelche snaps it home, and it's a 3 nothing lead. A fortunate bounce on the spot. Pelche has his second goal of the tournament. This play will start another quick up, and Quinton Byfield's gonna show off some quick hands here. Nifty little step in, in front of Guggenheim at the blue line. 
That pass is zipped to Zarian when his shot misses the net. There's Pelche from a rather sharp angle, put it in the off the post and in, but a nifty play by Quinton Byfield just inside the blue line. He used a quick step to get inside the line to keep the play onside. Quick hands to find Zary and the, the grin on Pelche tells you who's put it in the net, and it's 3-0 Canada. Morazak shoots, Pelche will save. They can't get a stop, it. Zary picks it up. Feeds it back, Pelche shot, that goes wide. The run ships that in and move back to center ice. It's amazing what a little success does. You get a little quicker, you get a little faster, a little hungrier, you, you don't squeeze your stick as much. He looks terrific today. He's open again. We're in the Byfield, shoot scores! That's a five point game for Byfield. Man, he gets open here. Watch him here in the middle of the ice. He reads the play now, he pivots and turns to get himself into position. It was terrific for Canada in the summer of 19 at the Holinka Gretzky Cup in the Czech Republic, the under-18 summer tournament. Now a chance for Pelche and scores! He's got two and that's ten! As Pelche is gonna find the loose puck coming off the 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 four check, that's six points for Byfield. And this is a really nice release by Pelche. And I'd imagine the Pelche Quinn Byfield line will stay together for the game against Finland. What a big night for these guys. Pelche is one of those guys I have really, really been impressed with him. He's always around the puck. He always seems to find his way to to where the center of the play is, and Pelche moves in, drops that back to Zeri, taking the shot away, now does, and Pat Hook kicks out of And Quinn's got it back. Jack Quinn lets it high in the air, busting in, Pelche with a chance and a pad save made by Pyrrhon. The loose puck. 6.23 to go here. In the first period, a sweet pass to Pelche, turned away by Pyrrhon. Drops it down to Byfield, he's tied up. Now Pelche in for it. Jacob Pelche to Quinn, to Byfield, who's on the side of the goal, walks right in, and a pad save by Pyrrhon. Lambert lost it, Pelche sends it right back down. Byfield the four check. Pumps hard in the Miemela, and the puck held by Quinn. Flip back in by Gulick. Byfield, Pelche crisscrossing, Pelche pulls it out. Feeds it back, Justin Barron a long shot, goes off a leg and wide. Here's a Takes a return pass, it bounces back at the point. Schneider a long shot, bounces back. Cousins feeds it there for Pelche. Another center pass, Holloway jams at it. Pelche feeds it back. Here's Schneider back with it. To Pelche in the home clock, shoots, scores! Jacob Pelche snaps it home, and it's 2 nothing Canada. This is the first shift that we've gotten to see Canada's lineup after the power play. And with the injury to Alex Newhook, Andre Turini has to make some adjustments to his lines, so he puts Dylan Cousins between Pelche and Holloway. They're all over the fence. The panic is on defensively, and Pelche is going to walk out to the high slot. He's unattended, and through the Holloway screen, Canada gets a deserved 2 0 goal as Jacob Pelche's shot actually deflects past Pirinen, and it's 2 0. Field down to Jack Quinn. Down to Pelche. Jacob Pelche walks right out, drops it back, and standing on that shot was Quinn. And a chance for Cousins back the other way. Cousins pokes at it, plays it back in deep. Here's Pelche on the four check. Pelche drops it back to McMichael. A centering pass. Cousins gets the shot away. Still loose. Bounces back to Schneider. Rolling puck up the side of the goal. Here's McMichael. He's going down to Cousins. I've never. Oh, another centering pass, but oh, scores! Hunter with Michael on the side of the goal from Cousins, and it's 2 nothing Canada. Gord, I was just a, trying to say, I've never seen a goalie lose his stick more than a scar off. This puck goes right through the crease. He doesn't have a stick. It's like it's a prop. And a 2 nothing lead. They win puck battle after puck battle. Look, he makes the save. Now the puck's down and on the ice. Good work again by Cousins. Pelche finds it across. 
the front of the net, and McMichael is able to get underneath Kuznetsov, stronger on his stick. And now, Askarov's got a player's stick. That's no help. And it's in the back of the net. Finds McMichael looking for Cousins, who got away with an assist of the last goal, is now tied for number five on the all-time points list with Jason Allison. Just to try and limit exposures, they just pick their team, and here they are in the final four. Drysdale shoots, that was blocked. And now a steal by Pelche. He's it across. Cousins throws it back, and Michael hammered that wide. But a nifty little stick play here by Jacob Pelche. He doesn't take a penalty, but it's a quick stick lift by who's on who's the Dino. As Russia won the gold medal, Levi is playing for Canada East in that tournament. Pelche feeds it back to Byram along. Wrist shot goes off the end boards, out the other side. Mohamed Ullin knocks it down. Picked up by Pelche. He has been relentless in this tournament. And he wins another battle for the puck back to Drysdale. Drysdale shoots up the other side. It goes Byron reaching for it. Mohamed Ullin for Prince shoots. Moved by the stop rebound. Prince again. The stick goes flying, but it's Caden Gouley. He's not the goaltenders. And then Pelche may have saved the goal. Oh, Amirov's got it back. Puts it back for Kuznets off a race for it now. Pelche coming in. Two Calgary Flames prospects there, and Kuznets off knocked it away. Super helpful. In comes Cousins, drops it off to McMichael. The centering pass right on goal, knocked wide by Pelche. Again, Milton puts it back in the corner. Safanov centers it. And a chance now for Cousins. He's got Pelche with him. Cousins to Pelche, back to Dylan Cousins, scores! And Dylan Cousins. A three-point night for Cousins. This line has an excellent night as McMichael's in good defensive position, intercept the pass. Pelche, who won a puck battle to start the McMichael goal to make it 2-0. Feathers a little dish over, and Canada will be heading to the gold medal game.